Muy buenos días, bienvenidos a Zona Pon 7. Thank you for being with us. Espero que todos estén bien y manteniéndose calientitos porque hace un poco de frío. But we're here and we're ready to have our third conversation. We're talking about hemp products. So out of this conversation, I hope that you get to know the difference between hemp and marijuana. So stay tuned for that. But let's talk also about the different um, services and products that the Belize Tropical Hemp Company has. And to talk to us about that, we have Mr. Cesar Godinez, who's the director of the company. Uh, Mr. Cesar, good morning. Thank good you for morning. joining us here on Sun Upon 7. How are you feeling? Um, and you're not cold? Yes, I'm kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him and he yeah. looks so strong. The like, first thing Kevin's like, like cold. man, you're not cold. <laughs> I just took off my sweater. There you go. But thank you for being here with us and introducing your new product, the Belize Hemp Company Limited. So we're eager to find out what our products are about. But of course, let's start by giving our viewers what is hemp? Because a lot of people might be like, hmm, are we encouraging marijuana smoking here? But let's 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 start there. So so the difference between hemp and marijuana is hemp is is rich in C B D. Okay. Uh, C B D is cannabis oil. Uh, it's it's me it's medicine. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Marijuana it has THC. THC lets uh, people get high. Uh, CBD doesn't let you get high. All right. CBD is is relaxing. It's good for muscle pain, joint pains. It has. Uh, there's new studies that recently a new study came out that it's uh, the hemp compounds uh, stop the coronavirus from getting into the human cell. I read that. So that's the CBD uh, new studies. Uh, so we're more into medicinal. Uh, I believe in medicine from plants. Yeah. So that's why, uh, that's what got my interest into it. And even, uh, because my, my goal is still to make paper products out of, out of hemp. Okay. Uh, yeah, that but was it's, it's taking a little, a, little t a little more time than I anticipated. But so CBD is for, or hemp is for industrial use. Uh, okay. Paper and medicine. Marijuana is for people to get. Recreational. Yeah, recreational. Or recreational. You get, yeah. you get, you get. I know high. there's a lot of people that do um, use the hemp for cancer and so forth. And there is a thing where people would suggest that you would be able to use that because it helps with the symptoms to a certain degree. Yeah, it's even good for uh, like people that are early Alzheimer's. Early, you start taking, you take the CBD, it's ingested, you you, you, you have it, uh, you put it under your tongue okay. for 60 seconds and you swallow it. Uh, so it's more, uh, med it's, it's medicine. It's medicine. Yeah, awesome. it's definitely. Awesome. I'm glad that we cleared that up for not people thinking, oh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to get high. Or, yeah. That's not, that's not what we're looking for right no, now. No, you're not, you're not going to get high from... From the CBD products. From the CBD yeah. products, yeah. yeah you, it doesn't have the psychoactive uh, ingredients, properties. Yeah. 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 So when you think about now the idea of having hemp cigarettes, because, well, you know what? Let me not go into that for yes. yet. The idea of your hemp company, you mentioned that, you know, you want to go into paper base as well. So how long has this company been going for it? And what was the brainchild behind it? Well, I started the... I got my permit in 2019, okay. but then COVID. So we had a, I had a drawback. Uh, I have a, I have a friend, Armando Granil. Uh, he's, uh, he's my partner. So we're okay. two Belizeans. Uh, he's, he's more behind the scenes. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm more into farming. So we, I, I got the permit and then we decided to, Hemp, it's interesting. It's medicinal. Mm. Uh, uh, it, there was this ban on paper products coming in, so we said, uh, it's, let's do something with the hemp. So that's how the, we started the company. Okay. Uh, we, uh, it's 2020 I started uh, the farm. So it's been challenging. It's something new. It's not like growing tomatoes or, <laughs> or cabbage. Uh, yeah. So it's challenging. It has, it's had some challenges, and but we got it to where we were able to grow it and, and start to produce yeah start uh, starting on our products uh, we've uh, decided to start first with the cbd oil uh the we're gonna be doing the cbd seaweed so seaweed is already nutritional and it's mm -hmm. and we're adding we're gonna add the cbd into it which will make it like a power drink okay so it will be medicinal uh, 
And I see that you also have hemp cigarettes. Too. Yeah, the, the hemp cigarettes are more like... That's for, pretty innovative. I'm like, yeah. uh, more recreational. Um, people that want to quit smoking, uh, quit tobacco, they can start taking uh, the hemp cig cigarette. It has CBD in it, so it's st you're still going to get the medicinal part of it. Uh, out of the, the cigarette, so it's not like, you're not going to get high. It's not marijuana, so okay. you're not going to get high. Right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to relax you. If, you're, if you have uh, suffered from anxiety, you can take a hemp cigarette, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to relax you. Okay. It even helps you with sleep. Mm, there you go. I know I was watching and reading um, the, label? the label here for the CBD seaweed, and it assists in weight loss. Oh, look at that. And it may reduce the risk of heart disease and so forth. Fights against cancer, like I told you, I, I knew about um, that benefit. So it's really nice to know that, especially with COVID right now and all the things that we're trying to fight that combat, yeah. there are going to be products that people can buy that's going to be helping them with their fight because it's about building the body's immunity yeah. and being able to know that not only the vaccine helps, but you need to have other ways. So could you tell us maybe more of the prices of which? Because, you know, I know you have three thus far, three products. These are the three products that you have. What are the price range? And also, where where are they located? Where are you located? Well, we right now we're in the final stages of, of getting the product. Uh, uh, we're going through Bureau of Standards. Okay. Uh, we still have to do some more testing. So we still haven't decided yet on, on, on prices. Okay. So until we, we want to do everything... Le legally and right so we're it's gonna it's taking us a little longer okay. uh some of like the oil like the oil is uh we already have it we we started selling it that goes for well we do a wholesale so somebody okay. else can buy it i don't really want to all right share the wholesale prices okay. but so but uh the cigarettes and the seaweed uh we did a we did a tryout uh to see how it, how the public would react to the seaweed, and it, we only did a few samples. Like, what was the reaction like? Uh, it sold out like in like hot twelve hot. hours. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Okay. It was only a small batch we did. Okay. I rec and something that you mentioned about the, the cigarettes is that it's not as addic it's not addictive. No, it's as, not addictive. Yeah. Nicotine. Yeah. Um, cigarettes. So that's a plus, like you mentioned, for people that are looking for an alternative to transition from stop smoking cigarettes. Do hemp because a lot. I know a lot of people smoke cigarettes to control anxiety, yeah. um, to manage stress. So yeah. there's a different alternative, a healthier alternative for you. I want to go back to the hemp oil. I know you mentioned that you sell it in wholesale. Yeah. Where can people be able to go to the different distributors? They that? would. Uh, they would. Uh, we have an email uh, and a phone number. So it's uh, the email is sales at beliefstropicalhemp.com, uh, at gmail.com. I mean, so they would be able to email us and then. We're the ones that would be doing the wholesaling. Okay. Our company, yeah. Uh, okay, awesome. And if they want to go to your company, where is your company located? It's in Valley of Peace. Valley of Peace. Yeah. All right. So there you go. We've introduced something new to the market, which is hemp products. Um, and, and there's, there's more coming there's eventually. More coming. And I like the fact yeah, that there, there's, there's a there's, process towards Yeah, there's more, uh, more products coming. We plan to do gummy candies. It's all oh. medicinal. Uh, but it, it takes time. Well, of course, because, you know, you have to grow it, then you also have to see and make sure it's approved. Yeah. You know, find the proper pricing, all these things. Yeah, we have to. And then we're, we're, we did some testing, some samples, uh, because you want to know how the public is going to react to it before you start investing more money into it. Yeah. And because uh, we're not, we're two local Belizeans. We're not millionaires. We work. And everything we've been working for, we try to put it into the industry because we want to grow this industry. Uh, so we're going step by step. Uh, we have no um, foreign investors with us. Okay. So it's all you? It's all uh, Armando Granel and myself. So. Hey. I can imagine, you know, yeah. the work that comes with it to create products of these kind. And of course, you know, hemp and the idea of marijuana and in general, these things are new under the sun. We, we've we see it in different international communities, but we don't see it in Belize. So it's definitely something that you have to test the waters to see yeah. how the public is going to react to it. Yeah. You know, and also education is something very important along it because, like we said, we started off the conversation defining what hemp yeah. does instead of thinking <laughs> people, oh, I'm going to get a high or whatever it is, but understanding the medicinal value that comes with this product. Yeah, yeah. the fact that we're introducing traditional medicine, which is something very, very, very important because a lot of people would 
would choose to, to, to use that instead of using pharmaceuticals. So Yeah, yeah. So and I, I, I am I'm certified. Okay. I I studied uh Tricom Institute. They're out of uh, Colorado. So I got certified for uh, for like oil extractions, I got certified for planting. Uh, I even got certified to be uh, cannabis consulting. Uh, so, yeah, I, I you prepare yourself. You know your stuff. You yeah, know I had to. I just didn't say I'm gonna go do it, and then yeah. That's that's uh, yeah. really important to say as well because people need to know, you know, this instruction and go correct. You know, <laughs> am I getting too much a little sun over here compared to sun over there? Yeah. Um, as we're wrapping up this segment, I invite you to give any final comments you'd want the public to know. I know you mentioned that you're still going by a process right now, yeah. so not everything is out there. I know only the, the, the oil, oil is yeah. and it's available in wholesale. Yeah. But for the cigarette and for the seaweed, um, those are coming along the way. Is there any final comments that you want to give the viewers at home maybe to say, okay, maybe in March or so or April these things will be ready, more or less, anything to that standard? Well, our our plan would be for tomorrow, but <laughs> <laughs> but we have to we have to wait for the, the different ministries to to give their final approvals. Uh, so we're hoping maybe by the the beginning of March, we could have our products out on, on different stores. Okay. Uh, we have a page, so we would post it on our page. We're on our final stages of doing a website, so people can even go online and, and they can buy the products online on the website. Okay. okay. Belize Tropical Hemp, that is your Facebook page, I believe. Yeah, Belize Tropical Hemp Company so, Limited. And so you're on, a, on Facebook, not on Instagram, just Facebook. We have an Instagram page too, under okay. the same name. Belize Tropical Hemp Company. So if you guys want to know a follow and see exactly when they actually officially come out, prices, all these different things, make sure you follow both the Instagram and the Facebook page. It's great conversations to have and also just to know, you know, when things are going to be finalized. So again, thank you so much, Mr. Caesar, for being here. and. For bringing us something a little different and new under the sun, I'm hoping to see more products like you mentioned, like the gummies, all these yeah. things. It's gonna take a little time to happen, but I'm loving that you're opening up this market yeah. for us. And, and, and I want to um, like encourage uh, different um, small farmers uh, if they have a, a permit and they they should plant as where our business is growing and we would be able to buy the different. Uh, the, the the hemp product the hemp, hemp from, from them. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! So we want the industry to grow. So as many farmers as possible can start planting and just need your permit and then be able to. Yeah, they would. It. They would need to have their permit. There's a lot of farmers out there already that have permits uh, since uh, 2019. Okay. When we uh, yeah, I would encourage them. It. Yeah, you're just helping each other. It's yeah. a community out yeah. there. Yeah. So. Let's make it's the opening the it. market even more and allowing mm -hmm. much more opportunities yeah. for those out there. So yes. if you are a farmer, you know a farmer as well. Or if you got land and you're you got land and you want with your land. get your permit, yeah. man. Start grow something. Yeah, start There's not hemp. only tomatoes you can grow out there. Okay, <laughs> you can grow other things. In so, these words. <laughs> <laughs> There's not only tomatoes and, and what else, potatoes and all these other things. But grow some hemp. For all we know, you can make some cigarettes later on in life <laughs> or some oil. <laughs> yeah. But thank you again for being on our couch with us. And so with that, we go to our next commercial break. When we're back, we're going to be wrapping up today's show. Stay tuned.